Hi, my wildly artistic friends. Well, today, we're gonna make this little tote bag. It's just a little shoulder bag. You know, it goes all the way down over the, sh over the shoulder, and it has a lining in it. It's a granny square bag, and it has a lining right here of felt where nothing will fall out of it. So, let's get busy making this little beauty. Okay, well here we go. We're going to start our first granny square by making a chain of five. And then we are going to slip stitch that together. And then we are going to chain three. Whoops. Slipped right off. And then do two double crochets into the same place. And then chain three for the corner of your little square. And then do three double crochets in the same place. And then repeat that again. Now we're gonna make two little squares like this to begin our, our purse. Um, <clears throat> but I do also have a video that describes in detail how to do the granny square on another section. I will try to link that in the comments, in the description, not the comments. But this one is an example of how to do two side by side so you can make them matching. So we're doing our three doubles again. You do three doubles, three chains, three doubles, three chains. And on your very first one, your three chains from the circle counts as your first double. And you go into that top one to slip it together. And there is your little square. You kind of have to pull the edges out a little. And cut the thread and tie it off. And this is how I do it. You see, you have a cute little square. And now we're going to make another one just like it. I'm doing five chains again and slip it together. Pull it through. Three chains. And then two doubles. That qualifies as your first double there. And you've got a second one and a third one. And then you do three chains and three doubles all the way around. And on this one, I actually make a mistake and only do two doubles on one side. I noticed after. Yep. One, two, three. I only have two doubles on that one. Don't make the same mistake I did. Here I am teaching you how to do this. And I only put two stitches on one side. It doesn't really change the effect of the bag. Um, I just know that it's there. And now you do. <laughs> but if you need any practice on granny square making, this is the perfect project. And this is a good project for beginners, um, especially if they're also beginner sewing students. Um, children or even older people who are beginning to sew by hand. Now you can sew felt on the machine, um, but I made the lining for this by hand with the felt. See, if I had noticed my two stitches before I cut this off, I could have gone back and just taken it out and fixed it, but I did not notice 
So they're still the same size and it still works. Works out really well. And I'm gonna bring in the second color. You do the loop on your finger just the same. And then you just put it right in. And to make your corner, you're gonna grab the yarn and pull it through. You're gonna do three chains, just like you did on the first part of your first square. And then you're gonna do two doubles. And then you're gonna do chain three. That forms your corner. And you're gonna do three more doubles right there in the same corner. If you're in the corner, you do three doubles and three chains and three doubles. In your three chains here, this is where I noticed my two stitches, I think. Um, but your three chains here take the place of those three stitches that are on the original square. Yep. I was recording sound in this first part of the video, but something happened and I was not able to use the original sound. So here I am doing a voiceover, which isn't that difficult, really. Sometimes I get the chance to go back and say things a little bit more clearly. And get three and then three chains and then three more doubles. You repeat this all the way around for both sides. Now I'm going to stick this, I'm going to keep it in um, real time just because it's quite a bag. It's beautiful. I found these on Etsy for $34 to $40 um, if you were to make these and sell them. Um, I'm sure there's patterns out there you can purchase. I do not technically do a pattern. Um, I just kind of winged it and made the liner. Because you can do a solid granny square, you can do a sunburst granny square, you can do any other kind of square that you want, really. And it would be absolutely beautiful. But yes, these are quite a bit. You can get the pattern on Etsy from different providers, different um, creators. Um, I think they're about $5, $3, 5 maybe 6 or 7 um, It just depends on what kind of square is in the pattern because some of them are more intricate. So I'm sure some of them cost more because of the details of the square. I do not sell any patterns. I don't sell anything on Etsy right now. And if you already know how to make a granny square, you could skip to the lining part and just go watch that of this video if you like. Skip to the end. <laughs> um, but if you wanna continue the real time of making these squares, you can continue watching. There's your four beautiful corners. I love this hunter green. It just turned out to be a really beautiful bag. And here is the second square. Sometimes when I'm doing this voiceover, I just feel like I'm rambling on. And if you'll notice, um, let me think of something else to say. If you'll notice, the desk that I'm working on right here is not my usual table from at home. I am actually um, recording this at my job now. I am a new real estate agent in our local area. And this is my desk at work. My painting table at home is still very painted. I did not get a new kitchen table. I love my painting table. And I will still be doing more painting videos on my painting table. I 
but I was just thankful for a little break here to come in and do a little crocheting. So there we have our second square. If you are following right along, you have got a little tiny pouch right now. You could make this a little teeny tiny bag with a liner if you wanted. It just really needs a liner because it has a lot of holes in it. But that is just so beautiful. And obviously I have skipped ahead. I did the brown row and the white row. And now, I guess the real time, man, you know, real time in crochet would take a lot of time, but just continue on your granny square and you'll get to get your bag as large as you like it. And then take your yarn needle and sew in all these little pieces of thread. There's several ways to do that. You can weave it in. It's better to make sure you go through the threads and you go back two or three times. I'm not getting a very good angle on this to show you, on that first one at least. Maybe this one's a little better? Maybe. Okay, I go through the hole here. I am using a plastic needle here um, I usually use a metal one, and I've realized the metal one does go through the threads a little easier, um, a little better, maybe not easier. The plastic needle is actually a little easier to use, but it does not necessarily mean it goes through the threads better. Um, you just make sure it goes through a good thick spot where it won't pull out too easily and you won't have any problems. Sometimes I have projects where they stick out a little bit after a few washes. I just don't let it bother me when it's, you know, a scrappy little fun project. Um, also something I thought of when I was doing this, all those little threads that I'm cutting off when you're when you're crocheting and you're cutting off those loose little ends, save those ends, especially if they're cotton, and set them outside. If you've got any birds or something, put them in a plant, like on top of the dirt, or set them out in a basket on the porch or something, and the birds will come and use them for their nests. So it's pretty cool to see the birds come and use your yarn just make sure it's a cotton yarn um i have done the acrylic yarn before but technically that's plastic um i've learned better since then and i would not recommend giving the plastic to the birds because you never know if one of the babies is going to try to eat a piece of it or whatever and that just kind of i don't like that idea anymore but the cotton yarn is a natural fiber and it would be a good thing for them to have. So here I'm tying in the rest of the ends. I think I'm gonna cut this off to the next part. So hang on, just a minute. Okay, so I got all the ends tied in and if you'll notice, I have another row of the green on the edges. I just thought it needed a little bit more. I got the two squares done, all the ends tied in and now I'm measuring for the felt. Um, you just cut your felt the size of your bag and then make it a little bit smaller than what you need. I had a very large piece of felt here to use. You can use felt or flannel or really any fabric you want to use. 
this was just a very simple project to do and you just take your felt and you sew it around the edges three sides and then you stick it inside and then you sew it on at the top so it'll be attached I'm going to go ahead and cut this edge over so it's a curved on the inside for the bag you lay it like this doubled over you get them both even there we go and this I'm back at home obviously with my little puppy playing with her toy in front of me and this is the first try at the at the lining um I didn't like these dark stitches once I got it in there because you could see them too much I had to switch needles also make sure you have a sharp needle when you're working with felt because it just does not go in very well if it's a dull needle excuse the bare feet um and the puppies running around but this is a project I finished at home in my chair so you just sew around three sides of your little lining bag and you don't have to do anything special to it you just want to sew it together where it won't let things fall out of your bag and when you do wash it you're going to be gentle with it so you know if you want to be a little tougher with it you would use a different kind of fabric than felt here we go I'm gonna just sew around the edges and then we will come back so if you are a beginner sewer just keep going just like this it's a very simple stitch just in and out and I'll go to the next step in just a second so if you're still sewing you can pause it and I'll come back in a minute Okay, and here is our next step. We are just going to go around and crochet a single stitch on three sides of our two squares to put them together. You want to line up the spaces and the stitches and just do a single stitch all the way around. And it's a very simple process. You just do your single crochet. You go in, grab your yarn, pull it through, grab yarn, and pull it through both. And just go on three sides, and you'll have that little purse finished. On to the next step. Okay, so the next step, you've got your, three, your two sides made. Your three sides crocheted together. And your lining fits inside with three sides sewn. You're going to stitch your lining to your bag. And this is a very simple process. It's just a little bit of hand sewing. And if it doesn't quite fit, I had to make a second um, lining for this one. Because this was an experiment in a way. I've never done one of these. I've never lined a crochet bag. But I just figured this one needed one. So this lining worked out really well. I love how this bag is. You just do your stitching all the way around. I'm tightening it down there on the on the end and making sure it's really good and locked in. So sorry for this bad angle got to work on that you cannot even see my work I apologize and there we are done I just tightened up the stitching and made sure it was locked in good and here we are the last step of the bag you're going to go on the very edge of the two sides and you're going to crochet about 10 single crochets into the edging And you might want a smaller strap than that, but I really like the the wide 
about an inch and a half strap. And so right here, you can see, and then you do two chains and you turn your whole work over and you're gonna single crochet the strap all the way up. I wish you could see my work a little bit better here. I apologize for that and I will have to do better. What you're gonna do is you're gonna single crochet all the way over just like you're making um, a square. And then you're going to do two chains on each end and then turn your work and continue with single crochet. So here I'm gonna do two chains, turn my work and go all the way across with single crochets. You're gonna do this for quite a ways. Depends on how long you want your handle, your strap for your bag. So I'm going to pause this here and show you when I get to the end. Okay, here is our full strap. It's attached on one side. So you want to make sure that you angle it just right and attach it right on the other side exactly like the other and then you just lay it on there and I like to turn it in like this and then single crochet straight across it's a very simple strap to make at least this has a little better of an angle well it did for a second oh my here we go so you just grab the stitches there on your bag and then go into your strap and pull through and you're going to do a single crochet all the way across and you are done when this is done my ball just ran away here we go you're going to just do a single crochet attach this little strap to your bag I love how this bag turned out. I hope yours is just as beautiful. If you want to tag me in your bag, if you've made one and you'd like to tag me, you can use my Instagram. I'd love to see your work. I'm not sure how you do it on YouTube, so um, just make a comment maybe. And you can tag me with a picture of it on YouTube or Facebook, either one really. I've got this video... Um, I'll have the video on YouTube and the bag itself, a picture of it is on Instagram or Facebook. So I love my bag. It's so pretty and it fits my phone and my lip gloss. <laughs> so if I go to the fair this summer, I'm going to be able to use this cute little bag I just love it so much. I hope you all have enjoyed this project as much as I have. And thank you for joining me through this whole video. If you've gotten this far, um, I'm going to do one of those things. Just put the word messenger bag in the comments. I would love to see who all made the entire video. This is such a pretty bag. I absolutely love it. And I hope y'all love the bag that you have made. There's my paint table. And we will see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful rest of your day.